It's been almost four months now since we got our first spoilers for the upcoming Terraria 1.3.6 update for PC. Following the first spoiler, we had almost weekly tweets and teasers getting everyone hyped for this new update, and then suddenly, it basically stopped. How's it going crew? This is Happy Days, and today we're looking at a mega mashup of all the Terraria 1.3.6 spoilers and discussing when this amazing update might finally drop. Now, just before we get started, I'm fairly sure I have all the spoilers for 1.3.6 in this video, but if I did manage to miss one, simply let me know in the comments below. With that said, let's get started. Our adventure begins on April 26 when Yorozor released a tweet saying 1.3.6 is officially underway, starting with a better Smart Cursor multiplayer pickaxe experience. It was a really exciting time as everyone was chatting about what the new update might focus on. Little did we know we were about to get bombarded with spoilers. Only two days later, the Terraria official Twitter released this tweet with the message, We won't spoil too much, but we are pretty excited about 1.3.6. We got this cool image of a character wearing a crown in what appears to be a throne room. This image demonstrated the new statue flipping option that is being implemented in the update. We also got this little movie showing several different ways the statue can be flipped. One week later, Yorazor released a tweet with the message Work in Progress that had a mini movie attached to it. In the movie, we can see the goblin tinkerer walking past some mannequins. One of the mannequins comes alive and actually attacks the goblin and then takes off its outfit, revealing a possible new mannequin vanity set. A lot of people were excited about the fact that the short sword had a strange texture to it that appeared to damage NPCs, which might hint at an interesting new mechanic coming to the game. Only a few days later, we got another message with the text coming soon to PC. We can see a player character with a speech bubble showing the mini shark in it before the character attacks some enemies using the mini shark. I thought it might have been some sort of weapon select ability, but a lot of you guys said it's likely a new emote system, which I totally agree with. On May 16th, Terraria celebrated its 6th birthday. The innocent looking tweet from the official Terraria Twitter actually hid the next spoiler, which was later confirmed by Senex. If you look closely at the mannequin, you can see that the ability to add accessories and dyes on a mannequin is a new upcoming feature. This will really help people display some of their favourite character equipment and die sets, which I think is totally awesome. Only a few days after that, we got another spoiler with the message, A WHOLE LOT OF NOPE, coming to 1.3.6. This spoiler showed that a new set of spider furniture was going to be added to the game, which gives everyone another use for spider fangs, which is greatly appreciated. Following this new furniture theme, a week later, the next spoiler popped up with the message, Corruption plus 1.3.6. This image showed lots of new awesome corrupted furniture, which gives the player an option to better create evil looking bases in their worlds. I also felt that some of the corruption blocks had a new texture to them, with eyeballs sticking out. After all of these furniture updates, the next week we got a tweet saying, Start your weekend off right with a look at one of the many backgrounds coming to Terraria in 1.3.6. This image shows a character at the beach with some awesome looking island cliffs in the background. I commented at the time that this really gives a feel that the beach is the end of the world in Terraria. Now this is where things really started to slow down and I can kind of understand why. Summer had hit America, lots of people were on holidays and people were taking a much needed break from work and school. Our next spoiler came over a month later on the 14th of July with the message Happy Friday, start your weekend with a 1.3.6 background preview. This image shows the crimson with an amazing looking new background. The thing that jumped out at me was this gigantic skeleton rising out of the lake. This spoiler suggested that many backgrounds in Terraria were getting an overhaul in the 1.3.6 update. Which brings us to our last official spoiler on the 19th of July. Senex released a tweet with the message, really digging the new splash screen designs. The image showed a considerable upgrade to the screens we generally see when we start up Terraria. And that's been it guys, it's almost been a month now with no news on 1.3.6. Looking back at all the spoilers, it seems we're getting a lot of graphical and furniture upgrades in this update but not necessarily any new weapons, armor or enemies. One theory I have is that the 1.3.6 update is paving the way for an insane 1.4 update which will likely include some game changing events and bosses like 1.3 did for us two years ago. 
It is also confirmed by Senex that 1.4 will include some form of creative mode, which games like Terraria massively benefit from. What are your thoughts, guys? Do you mind that the next PC update seems focused on graphics and furniture? Or do you like some equipment and enemies thrown in for each update as well? There's a poll on screen now for you to cast your vote, and also let us know your thoughts in the comments below. One thing that I do know is that I'm impressed that Terraria devs continue to support our beloved game years after its full release, and will likely continue to do so for the foreseeable future. If you enjoyed this mega recap video, smash that like button with a cookie, and if you're still looking for something to watch today, guys, why not check out one of these two videos? And here's the most important part, as always, you'll stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day, signing out. See ya!